Hello and welcome to the webinar from Valentin Software. Today we will show you a short introduction into the system planning with the new Coda Google Solar API. Um, yeah, it's a planning options which you have in the in the 3D planning of our programs, and that's why you need, of course, the PVSol Premium, and that starts from version 2024, release seven. It's quite similar to the planning with map sections. You also draw the outlines of a building, but the height information are used from this Google Solar API. Um, yeah, that's why you, of course, have to use the Google satellite data. Yeah, you can not use any own image files or, or images or maps from, from other, other providers. Uh, in addition, of course, the um, an API key is required for this uh, for the use of this Google Google Solar API. You have to create it yourself uh, in your Google account. Uh, information on how this can be done can be found in the in the help section of our program. Yeah, every request for three D data is charged with uh, about 0.075 US dollar at the moment. I don't know if, if this will change. And the billing is done directly with Google, so we are not involved in this. Uh, um, what you have to do in our software, you have to enter your um, Google Solar API key in, in the program. And this can be done under options here, program options in the extended section. There's a new entry field. You, you just copy the key and then you uh, press the OK button and then it's uh, adopted into the program. And if you start the planning with this uh, Google Solar API, so the using of the 3D data, then the key is automatically recognized and uh, you don't have to do anything else. OK, so let's let's move into the program. Um, we will show it live here, um, but don't we go through all the different planning steps. We will focus really on the planning in the 3D, the planning of the objects with this new function. Yeah. Um, yeah, one interesting thing is if you enter the address of installation here in the project data, then the, the, the map which is used or the map option focus automatically on this address. If you don't enter anything here, um, then uh, the, the map focuses on the selected uh, climate data record on the coordinates of the, of the record. But of course, you can also enter the, the address later in the, in the tool. Yeah. yeah, then it's a 3D planning uh, option. So we have to select here use 3D design on a system type climate and grid window. Uh, just set the hook. Then we see the 3D design icons. We click on it. And to open the 3D visualization, so the 3D planning, we click here on edit. First, we have to select the, the planning options. As I told you, it's quite similar to the map section. So we have to use map section here. Uh, and finally, we click here on new map section. Uh, and here in this window, we have to yeah, select our, yeah, our map, which we want to use in the planning. On the right hand side, you can see this uh, provider section here. Uh, as I told you, we have to use Google Satellite because we want to use their data. Um, then we have the address field here, uh, address from the project data is automatically adopted. As I told you, it can be overwritten here. Um, also move around here, to find the right um, right map here. Um, yeah, you can zoom in, rotate, etc. It's the same function like before. What's new here is the section Google Solar API. Uh, there are different options possible. The first option here is show Google so API coverage. Um, this is basically to show the, the, the quality of the data which we have here, high and medium as possible. So if you click here or set the hook here, then you can see uh, it's kind of green now. So we have high quality data here. If it would be kind of blue, then it's medium size or a medium quality of the data. This, this can also be used here if you set the the, the hook and uh, also a low location with quality level medium. Uh, you have, of course, low data. Uh, there is no option for it. This uh, this cannot be used. Then. What we have to do is we have to set uh, a pin here. Uh, so we uh, mark this option. Uh, then uh, the cursor changes a little bit. Uh, and then 
we, we set the pin here in the in the map and this um, pin marks the uh, center point of the of the map sections we want to use you know, the map sections always 200 by 200 meters uh, and from these 200 by 200 meters all the 3d data can be downloaded and used in the in, in the software and pv so premium okay so in this case we have set the pin to to the building we want to uh, plan with or we want to cover yeah? um, so everything is done what we now have to do is we have to download um, the, the height data so we click on this here uh, then a short description about the building etc we click here again on download and now all the 3d data will be downloaded you can see also the satellite image which is be used for the 3d planning and here the height map so if this is okay for us then we select it by clicking on the button of course the scale and the orientation is automatically adopted from the software we click here on start uh, then we are in the, the deep planning we have adopted the data and now we have to mark our our building and yeah extrude it and so on and here we are in a 3d visualization and as six has mentioned this is our building we would like to extrude and as you can see in a status bar here will be visualized the height above sea level and in the upper part here this is a section for using the map section here are different icons available and the second one this is to to set a pin to set a new ground level in the surrounding area close by the building we would like to extrude because in most cases you you don't will know uh, that the height above sea level of your eve or your ridge and uh, yeah if you mark this then it will be visualized by this lat uh, and as you can see, there's a blue point uh, close to my, my mouse. And yeah, now I have to decide where I would like to set the new ground level. And I do it, yeah, as I've mentioned, close to, to the building. And now all heights will be visually related to, to this uh, new zero point. Uh, okay, and now you have the choice between two maps. You know, we have seen it before, the satellite map as well as the, uh, the height map uh, to, to draw the outline of the building and the ridge. You, know, you have to decide which one you would like to, to use. In our case, we would like to use the satellite map. And to draw the outline, we have to click here on the polygon tool, the drawing tool. And then the mouse cursor will be changed to a pencil. Yeah, and now we have to click the corner points here to draw the outline and afterwards we have to press the enter button that we can draw the ridge and as you can see here close to my pencil the height above sea level is visualized and now you have to pay attention that all the points you were clicking are on the same height on the same level yeah, it's around 5.0 meters yeah, but it's not the height above sea level, it's the height, the height above, above our, our new, new, our, yeah. Our new uh, ground, ground level. level. Yes, sorry. Okay, now we have to look that it's yeah, around 5.0 meters. Then we have to press the enter button to draw the ridge. And if this is done, to interrupt the drawing mode, we have to press the escape key. Now there's another functionality available. This is the one with the polygon and the number in it. And if we activate this, then all heights of the selected polygon will be visualized. For example, here for the ridge, we have a height of 8.6 meters. And if we click the outline, then it's yeah, from 5.0 to yeah, 5.2 meters, but that's where we calculate it in the right way. Yeah, if this is done, now we can start extruding our building. Yeah, we have to do a right mouse click on our drawing. We can make it perpendicular. And in the second step, we can extrude it. And now the height is, is known. And the inclination, the roof bridge will be calculated, calculated automatically. Okay, here we are. This is our building with hip roof. The program has detected the length of the ridge and yeah, this is our height of the eave and here's our roof pitch. If you would like to 
to adjust it, yeah, then it would be possible under this gear icon. We have to confirm our data. Here we are. And what else we can find here in the map section is that we, yeah, we can create a 3D model for the surrounding area, all other buildings and trees. And if we activate it and change to the terrain view, then you can see all the other trees and buildings. <clears throat> so here we are. Now we change to south view. Yeah, all these other objects and buildings will be taken into account in the calculation of the shading. Okay, now we would like to cover our building. This means we have to activate the building. This can be done here in the tree view. Activate. And here we are, we change to one of the, the roof sides we would like to cover. But first we would like to, to, to change uh, the edge distance for this. That's that's correct. So we are now here in the object view. Yeah, we click here on edit edge distances and should go 8.0.8. Close it, then we go to the roof view west. Do the same here. In principle, now the, the rest of the planning is is the same like, like for the other plannings you you already know, yeah, if you know our program, of course. Yeah. Um, so we go to module coverage now. Uh, first of all, we have to Select our module, so we click on new module. Take a look what we have in favorites here. Take LG, yeah, it's okay. And we cover the entire roof here. Press OK. Looks good. Change to the other uh, module area. Again, cover. Click OK. And this is now done. Yeah. Then we move forward to the module. Uh, configuration, so we have to find a suitable inverter. Um, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Second icon here, yeah, second because icon. we want to yeah. configure both. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And here we are now. We are in an inverter window, and we would like to configure the roof side separately. We will start with roof area west, and yeah, we will ask for a suggestion. But before we have to pre-select our inverters. And we have around 50 kW. In our case, I have selected the SMA Sunny Tree Power Core 1. Select, and now we will get a suggestion from this inverter. OK, it's done. And it changed to the other. And here we are. This is our configuration. Yeah, now we have to adopt the data. We have to click the project administration. I can adopt data, and now we will be asked well, if our, our planning should be adopted, of course, and we would, out, would like, or like uh, to do a shading, of course. Yeah, now the, the, the shading analysis to take place, so for every module, the, the software looks how's the shading um, and, and how's the influence of all the objects uh, around the, uh, our, our module area. And it, it makes a difference if you select the, the, the yeah, 3D model for the surroundings, of course. Yeah. Or if you don't select it, then of course you don't have any shading at all. But, but of course, you could also um, um, define your own objects by, by using the polygon tool or put in other, other buildings. With the with the classic planning, this is also possible. So you can mix up uh, the, the planning options. But as I told you, it makes a difference if you use the 3D model, of course, or the the other objects which you have defined yourself. Then you will get different shading from the simulation. If you select the 3D model, you can see we have we have uh, created the surroundings by the 3D. Then of course it takes a lot uh, more time to to uh, Perform the, the shading simulation because it has much more corner points in, in his in, to, to consider for the simulation. Okay, the rest of the planning then it's 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 similar. You go through all the window steps here, different windows, economics, etc. Press on the calculator icon to um, calculate the results. So I think we will quit this here. I just wanted to show you how you can create your buildings. 
or objects with the new Google Solar API, with the height data from Google. Um, if you want to have uh, more information about our programs, then please take a look at our website, www.valentin-software.com. If you have questions afterwards or any remarks, please write us an email to webinar at valentin-software.com. Uh, that's it from our side. Thank you for your attention. Thank Bye. you. Bye.